Welcome back everyone. You may be in a situation where you just lost your iPhone and there's a couple of different ways to actually recover it and find it. Now this method is going to be using a separate iPhone, iPad, iPod, any other device that has that Find My app capability. I think some MacBooks as well. So the very first thing that I would honestly recommend doing is just try calling it or FaceTiming your specific iPhone. If you have another iPhone or iPad, I would recommend FaceTiming it. This is, tends to be the most universally easy way to find your device. It honestly will not work every single time, especially if you put your phone on silent mode. And that's what the second option is basically available for. But what you want to do is try calling it, try FaceTiming it. You'll be able to FaceTime from an iPad or iPod or an iPhone as long as you're signed into the iCloud account and you have that iCloud email associated with that phone and then at that point i would recommend just calling it and trying to find it again if it's gone you can't even find anywhere near you or if it's in a whole different area then obviously move on to step two but that's the very first thing i would recommend doing now the second option which is the main option i'll be honest is using the find my app that your phone pretty much already comes pre-installed with now if you haven't really tinkered around with your iphone you probably already have find my iphone enabled you know you probably didn't disable it and it's very easy to go ahead and find your device this way so what you want to do is you can either do this from your iPhone, iPad, or iPod, or you can actually do this from your computer by signing into iCloud.com slash findmy, and the link will be down below. And all you have to do is open up the Find My app on your device or go to the Find My website, which is linked down below, log into the same exact iCloud account that you have associated on that iPhone. And that's why I tend to use an iPad if I ever lose my device because it already has my iCloud account associated with it. And all you have to do is once you have that app open, you want to go ahead and click on the devices option, the little tab that's right in the middle of your iPad or your iPod or whatever. And you'll basically get a list of all the devices that are currently synced up with your specific iCloud account. So all you have to do is find that specific device that, you're, that you lost. So in this case, let's say it's an iPhone. All you have to do is click on that specific iPhone. And at this point, you are pretty much going to be set. You'll basically be able to see exactly where that iPhone is at and it's going to show you on a map and all you have to do is go ahead and find it there and you can even make it play a sound so if you currently know that it's in your house but you don't know where well even if it's on silent mode you will as long as it's charged it'll still go ahead and actually emit some sound from it if you click on that little button so that's exactly what you have to do in order to find a lost iPhone and typically you can find it by using another iPhone iPad or iPod that you currently own so that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.